Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're all doing good. I'm doing great. A few days ago the Volkswagen ID7 was revealed in Las Vegas in the States at the CES and it's in a camouflaged uh, little paint and, and they did some very nice things with it. It looks stunning but the main part is what they already revealed about the car and especially what this car will bring for the future of Volkswagen and ID cars or electric cars because some of the things that they are already showing will be implemented in other cars as well. The ID7 with its form as a limousine or a sedan it has a great drag coefficient and with that Volkswagen tells us that it uh, has a range of about 700 kilometers with a WLTP which is amazing but important with that is I don't think that this will be the normal 77 kilowatt hour battery. I think this will be the bigger a bigger battery. Um, um, Volkswagen already said that the Volkswagen ID bus will get also a bigger battery, a, a, a bigger wheelbase, and the ID7 also has a bigger wheelbase than ID3, ID4, ID5, which uh, have 2 meters 77, so 277 centimeters, and ID7 will have 20 centimeters more, and I think they will pack a bigger battery in there, because yes, drag coefficient, but Going from uh, ID5 with uh, or ID3 with 550 kilometers WLTP range to 700, just with that, I don't think so. This is just a speculation. I have no idea, but <laughs> it, it seems to me that this will be a bit of a bigger battery in there where it can get up to the 700 kilometers. Of course, then only rear-wheel drive, not the GTX version with all-wheel drive. There are a few new features that the ID7 will have and that's important which then at some point will be at other ID cars as well. So that means that uh, the facelift ID3 for example when it comes out it won't have this feature those features yet but they will come in a later uh, future same with ID4 um, I'm guessing ID5 as well so first of all a new display concept HMI including a new layout of the touch controls and space for personal favorites then uh, augmented reality head-up display I don't think that's new uh, 38 centimeter 15 inch screen so this will be bigger uh, illuminated touch slider something we always wanted and new air conditioning controls integrated into the first level of the infotainment system so as we look in here you can see that it's um, a bit like the 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 screen is all all new so um, you have down in the bottom illuminated temperature and volume and off button screen is way bigger and there are no other buttons underneath it's all on the screen but you have your climate settings always in the bottom so i can see most of the bottoms the, uh, the buttons that you need temperature um, seat heating uh, ac on auto or go to climate so most of the things that are important are already here and that's just awesome and it's in a 15 inch screen right now we are at 10 for id3 or 12 for id4 id5 and you can see that they also changed that up here is now the buttons and it looks more like newer displays before right now it's more on the left where you have most of your info now it's all on top this is very modern and this is stuff that is uh, implemented in a lot of other cars. Next is the climate. The ID7 offers an innovative climate and comfort experience. Newly designed smart air vents control the flow of air and move dynamically to distribute the air over large areas as quickly as possible. If there are passengers in the car, the air can be directed towards the body of, or ventilate the interior indirectly. These functions are visible on the new large display at all times and can be activated and saved for each user. So I think what they mean is that this this will be more uh, like in Model 3, Model Y, where the air, where you don't change it via 
something on the air vent it will be more digitally in the display and what we also can see is a new display here for the id7 as an instrument cluster so it's integrate integrated in the dashboard not on top of the steering wheel it's i'm pretty sure it will be the same um, maybe it's a bit more flat but i can see uh, range uh, state of charge the speed and on on top again the the power or region so i'm guessing it's more like this uh, but it doesn't uh it's not in the way to look outside in the front that looks good i want that too and you can also see that the id7 has the same gear change uh, buttons that the id bus had because the the, the, it's not connected to the instrument cluster anymore. The ID7 will be available all around the world. The world premiere is planned for the first half of 2023 and the electric sedan is scheduled to be launched in China and Europe in the same time, with North America following in 2024. The preparation for the start of production in the East Frisian region of Germany are already well underway. Around 1600 employees are getting everything ready to make sure production starts on schedule. It was hard to say, starts on schedule. That looks very interesting and I'm especially looking forward to have this screen in this infotainment system plus the instrument cluster in other ID cars, especially ID3. That will be a great thing. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.